Okay, we're going to have a look at some of the features of S Note on the Galaxy Note 3. So I'm going to go in and add a new note. Okay, I'm just going to write start. And there's a few things you can do with that. I can, if I use my selection tool, I can move it around. Or the one that's, that I find really, really useful is this transform into. If I use that. I have a couple of options here. I can transform it into shape, formula, text, or redefine shape and text. So I'm just going to go with text, for example, and you can see there it's uh, it's converted my messy handwriting into printed text. If I do something else, if I do start and I draw that around it, and if I select select it all again, transform into redefine shape and text see it's got me a, a box with with start in the middle of it which is really really handy for doing little flow charts and stuff um, you have this uh, text mode tool where you can just type in test um, and you have the rubber tool now you can't you can't draw or erase text but you can you can erase anything you've drawn Okay, and then if another little feature is formulas, so if I can say x equals 50 squared, select that, transform into, and select formula. See, it puts it in like that for you. And when you have your little objects, you can you can drag them around with the by, by just drawing around the outside of them, selecting them and moving them. Uh, if, if I select an object I have I can get the properties on it. So if I go into properties I can adjust the layout, size, width, send to back, bring to front etc. I can adjust the font, colors, align it. So it's a pretty handy little tool. Um, something else I use a lot is this down here at the bottom you can insert so you can in insert a voice memo um, which I generally don't use that often like, images is handy because you can bring in a, a photograph and then draw on that photograph you can produce charts uh, illustrations really really useful I use it a lot so if I insert shape so say you're doing a little flow chart you can there's various shapes you can bring in you can resize them as needed and again you can adjust the color move them around extremely useful I'm going to go ahead and insert a little bit of clip art so select something And you have undo tools and redo tools which are, are very very useful as well down at the bottom here you you can uh, add pages to your to your note down at the bottom here you've got s pen and finger mode which toggles to s pen only so what's in it when it's an s pen only you can do nothing with your fingers um, when you enable s pen and finger you can you can drag stuff around with your finger but I find it's it's better to go with S Pen only because then you're not, you're not worried about touching the screen with your hands. And then you have a few options here. You can add add pages, delete pages, edit the tags, index the page, and change the background. So if I select that, there's different templates there. You can you can apply it to the background of the page. Or add a template. So checklist, for example. And then you can you can obviously scribble stuff in and, and take it off as you go along. That's really it. Uh, it's a very very useful little tool on the Galaxy Note 3. It's very powerful and very handy to have. All right, thanks for tuning in.